بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو نیدر ویڈیو آن اوریکل ایپ ایکس اینڈ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس اباؤٹ سکسس میسیجز ہاؤ وی کین ہائیڈ دیم سو دے شوڈ ڈسپلے جسٹ فائیو سیکنڈ اینڈ دے شوڈ آٹومیٹکلی ہائٹ وائٹ سو جسٹ لائک یو کین سی آن لیفٹ اور رائٹ وین یو submit something there is a success message if you have configured so they will remain on your screen until you will not close this using this cross button sometimes these are annoying sometimes these are required as well to to be there right so we will discuss we will do practical and i will show you how you can set set up your oracle apex instance that uh, these should auto height in earlier versions it was not there right so today i am going to demonstrate you in 24.1 uh, in apex.oracle.com so let's move so now i am in uh, oracle apex uh, this is my uh, apex.oracle.com instance i just created a demo so show to show you what is exactly the challenge and how we have to resolve it so let's say for example if i am just updating this one i'm just just changing it right and this i have a success message so if you see here now i am here and it it is just still you know remain displayed over there on this corner and it will not hide and it will not close right so now i have to close from here this one so sometimes it is required let's say for example if you want to show uh, a voucher number or invoice number or something like that then after confirmation what is assigned so you want to keep it over there uh, but even in auto hide if you just focus or click on this then it will not hide uh, within 5 seconds it will increase another 5 seconds i believe there is some sort of increments in that so Uh, there is another one uh, let me show you so for example i have this uh, i just i'm just updating it for example this right and this save so i have this uh, success message insert zero update to delete zero i will show you how to configure such message as well so it will show you what is what happened exactly okay uh, now first let us uh, enable it so it will auto hide and we at least we can address one challenge so you have to go to your application so this is my application okay let me show you the version just to be safe site that so in my case it is 24.1.5 but i think today uh, oracle apex 24.1.7 means seventh patch also released it's okay uh, you have to go to edit application settings here then go to user interface this uh, fourth option right scroll down and you will come here auto dismiss success message click this right just enable it and just take help by using this uh, icon and you will find some details over here right that if you will uh, i think click or something like that it will again reset the timer so when set to on all success messages in this application will be and it will it is on application level right so it is not on page level or anything so if it is on in this application then it will uh, work on all all pages right automatically after 5 seconds if the user interacts with the message before it is dismissed the time will be reset and it will be another 5 seconds before the message gets dismissed anyway let's see so i have now enabled it apply right in earlier version it was very tough so <laughs> now i am just refreshing it right so let us try i am just going to uh, update this this and save now let's see for 5 seconds yes gone let me show now on this screen as well so let's say for example one 
one save this is interactive grid so let's see five seconds gone right uh, let me show you how i did this success message where it is showing you count as well so if you see this one is my interactive grid right interactive grid and come down it here is a success message right so these are the placeholders or variables are available you can use that these are standard oracle apex so hash and at the end hash and this is mri for insert count mru for updates count and mrd for delete right so it will give you the count then this is just text you can change the way you want if you want something else in, 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 instead of insert update or delete whatever okay so this is here i used like this and it will give you count right so let's say for example if you have deleted and you um, you did something let me let me do one test over here uh, we will do not two tests one is here we will delete we'll do few things over here so first let me add right i will add test test right save so this is one insert right okay now i will update this update this and i will be deleting this right so two updates one delete and again i will wait for five seconds two updates one delete right five seconds message disappeared now and uh, let me refresh i think there were two ones okay let me update and this time i will click on that message okay i have just click over here so i am now holding my hand back and i am not clicking anything just mouse pointer is on that right so it is not disappearing or uh, getting height let's see okay so if my mouse focus is on that it is not so let me try if i remove it or move down so at least in 5 seconds it should disappear right so i think that statement is not valid maybe in next patch they uh, updated it so it is not taking that effect that after you and the user will engage it will increment another 5 seconds right so it is not or maybe i don't know how many time it's got incremented so it's okay but the point is the initial if you will not engage with this message you will not click or you will not uh, do anything it will remain for 5, uh, five seconds and if you will then you can just close from here right okay uh, so let me show you here uh, how I displayed this message because here I'm showing you the department uh, department as well, right? Here, uh, if when I add success message due to this close dialog, it is getting closed. Even you are not able to see the success message. So on close dialog, I said in the success message department saved and here i am showing the department name right i have the field right uh, item uh, this one so um, uh, um, person sign and at the end dot and in the middle you can just uh, copy this name of the column and put it over there right Okay, now please try and share your feedback about hiding messages. Right? Thank you very much and Allah Hafiz.